Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Under writing skill, we do have letter writing and letter writing comprises of formal letters and informal letters. So under formal letters, we do have business letters, job application letters, letter to editors, letter of complaints, letter to principals or officers. Under business letters, we do have making enquiries, replying to enquiries, placing orders, cancelling orders, registering complaints about services or products. Under official letter, we do have letter to editor and letter to police or civic authority. When will you be writing letter to editor? Letters to the editor of a newspaper or magazine forms an important part of the paper as you do know very well. So it voices the opinion of the people and provides them a platform to express their agreement, disagreement or reaction to the news and views contained in the newspaper. So these letters raise issues of social, political and economic interest. So when will you be writing letter to police or civic authority? So here, whenever you do have any problem related to electricity or roads or health and hygiene, pollution of air, water, in that case, you will be writing a letter to civic authorities. And when will you be writing a letter to police? If you do have any uh, issues regarding law and order, in that case, you will be writing a letter to police. So here, application letters job application letters or application to banks or school or colleges so here through this video let me teach you let me take you through application letter the very first thing format of a formal letter so the well seven seven components are there for a formal letter the very first one is sender's address then comes date and then receiver's address then salutation subject body of the letter and complimentary close so sender's address you need to write down your address if you are sending the letter then in that case you need to write down your address but you shouldn't write down your name and then date again it has got a separate format and then receiver's address whether it is to the principal or to the manager or to the hr whatever it is you need to write it down and then salutation dear sir or madam here you may put a comma for sender's address date and receiver's address you can do away with punctuation punctuation is not at all necessary for these things that is sender's address date and receiver's address but as for salutation you may have a comma subject subject must be written in six to eight words only body of the letter see to the word limit accordingly you need to write it down so if it is 120 to 150 words you can go for three paragraphs here and then comes complimentary close what is that complimentary close yours faithfully yours sincerely when will you be writing yours faithfully if only you do know the principal by his or her name then in that case you will be writing yours sincerely if you don't know the principal by his or her name then you will be writing yours faithfully Look at this example here. The very first thing is question. You are Sam or Sheba, write an application in response to the following advertisement in a national daily. You consider yourself suitable and eligible for this post. Applications are invited for the post of a nursery teacher or PRT in ABC International School, Mumbai. The candidate must have a minimum of three years experience of teaching at the primary and pre-primary level. The candidate must have a pleasant and energetic personality. An attractive salary is offered. Interested candidates should apply to the principal with a detailed resume. So here they are very clear. The candidate must have three years of experience and the role has been given that is primary teacher and he or she must be pleasant and energetic. So which school they have given. So how will you respond upon looking at the question you need to respond. So the very first thing is sender's address. Look at uh, this part. You needn't worry about the punctuation. And leave a line and then you need to write down the date. Date 20 January 2022. When will you be having comma here? If only you write January 20, then you need to put comma here. 2022. So that you can 
differentiate the date and the year. Otherwise, this format will do without comma. And then it is followed by receiver's address. You're writing to the principal. So you need to write down the principal, ABC International School, Mumbai. And then salutation, dear sir or madam, you may put a comma here. Then subject, application for, po for the post of a nursery teacher. It should be within, that is uh, from six to eight words. And then you need to write down the body of the letter. How to start the body of the letter? Upon reading the newspaper or upon looking at the advertisement, only then you will be writing down this response. So, how to start it? This is in response to your advertisement. Which paper, uh, uh, which newspaper did you see this? In the Hindu. On what date? Of 15 January 2022. Then you need to write down about your qualification. I am a qualified nursery teacher. Wish to apply for the aforementioned post. I am 25 years old and a graduate from Oxford College. Calicut University, Calicut. And then I completed the course of nursery teaching from the College of Education, Calicut. I have a diploma in art and craft. I can teach songs and dance to small children. So here in this paragraph, you need to uh, write about your qualification as well. Yes. And then the next line. I'm currently teaching in Kidzi Nursery School, Mumbai. So where are you presently working? So that part you need to write about. I wish to join your school for better career prospects. So whether you'll be benefited through this one, how will you be benefited through this job? You need to write it down here. Then I'm enclosing my detailed by data. So as you all know that this is the covering letter and soon after the completion of this covering letter, what you need to enclose, you need to write down resume that is your bio data. So that's what the candidate has written here. I'm enclosing my detailed bio data. Full stop. I hope you will find my qualification satisfactory. I look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience this is how you need to end up then followed by yours faithfully why do you want to go for yours faithfully because you don't know the principal by his or her name at all that's the reason why you are writing yours faithfully and then your name and signature and for sure you have to write down this particular word enclosed semicolon colon here enclosed colon then resume then resume the format of resume here what should be there in resume your name date of birth age father's name father's name look at this one apostrophe is mandatory here before yes apostrophe is mandatory whereas for yours faithfully and yours sincerely no apostrophe before yes bear it in your mind then gender Marital status, what is that gender, whether you're male or female, you need to write it down. Marital status, whether you're married or a bachelor or a spinster, you need to write it down. Academic qualifications, so whatever uh, post, whatever degrees you have got it, you need to write it down. Experience, how many years of experience, 5 years, 10 years, 18 years, whatever. Then skills, you may be good at uh it you may be good at computers you may be uh having a wonderful team building skills or soft skills all these uh, stuff you need to write it down here languages known you may be a polyglot you may know many languages so in that case you can write it down english hindi malayalam telugu whatever it is french german right and then hobbies maybe like cricket or tennis address address for communication so that they can contact you phone number again to contact you email so that they can mail it to you so all these details must be there under resume so application letter has got two components the very first thing is covering letter and then the next one is resume so how to refer to the job advertisement how will you start about 
I am writing with regard to your advertisement for the position of accountant. See here in the bracket, if it is for a teacher, you can write down uh, of a teacher for the position of teacher or for the position of uh, uh, martial uh, art teacher something like that which was published in the hindustan times see before the name of the newspaper it is mandatory to make use of the definite article newspaper on which date 5th january 2022 or else you can start like this with reference to the advertisement given in the hindustan times comma i would like to apply for the above said post or aforementioned post notice the use of prepositions children for the position of accountant in the hindustan times got it how to talk about your qualifications here i am a teacher i am an accountant with five years of experience in teaching domain or in accounting field then i graduated from bangalore university or chandigarh university in 2015 which year you need to write it down with a first class degree in whatever the subject you can write it down and then see here you are making use of present continuous tense i am currently working past tense for your work history i worked in so and so company yes and brackets if it is accountant you need to write it down as accountant if it is for teacher or if it is for lab assistant or if it is for any other particular job you need to change it accordingly and then how to explain your current situation at present i am employed as a primary teacher at so and so school you need to write it down yes so here you are making use of present perfect simple or continuous so here you can see as you can see from my cv i have been working as a teacher for the past five years i have been working so present perfect continuous tense we are using right here i graduated from bengaluru university here it is past tense i'm a teacher when you're talking about uh, uh, your uh, uh, teaching experience in that case you will be writing in simple present tense and then how to talk about your personality skills i consider myself to be reliable so reliable which means a trustworthy then hard working enthusiastic motivated ambitious so you need to boast about yourself you need to promote promote your candidature there i have strong communication skills and an excellent knowledge of it so without upskilling yourself with the it knowledge or communication skills it's really very uh, pitiful state of you so what you need to do you need to upgrade yourself with your communication skills and it skills so you need to write down this one i have strong communication skills right how to show interest in the job I believe the position you offer will give me the opportunity to develop my skills, widen my knowledge. And I feel that my experience in uh, teaching field or in accounting field makes me well suited for this position. So either one will do according to the position again. So your references or resume. So what you need to write it down, I enclose or please find enclosed my references and resume how to end or close a letter i look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience thank you for your time and consideration so these sentences will do a lot to wind up the letter that is to close the letter how to sign off finally you are sincerely you know the name of the person you are writing to so if you do know the name of the person if he or she uh, he must be if he smith then you can write down yours sincerely and if you don't know the person by name then in that case you can go for yours faithfully so thank you children thanks for listening to me patiently please do like share and subscribe but before that let me give you a worksheet what is that worksheet all about let me show you Here is the worksheet. I do believe that it is visible to everyone here. Yes. Look at this worksheet. You need to work on this one. Type covering letter. Direction 
complete the following covering letter and resume choosing the most appropriate words given in italics below look at these words children and after reading out these words impeccable enclosed stellar consideration unstinted succeed aforementioned licensing discharge meeting extensive credential strong fruitful considering reference so upon reading this one what you need to do you need to scroll it down i have given you the sender's address and then the date and then followed by uh, the receiver's address and then salutation and then subject i have given body of the letter with the blanks and these blanks have got numbers 16 blanks have been given here and you need to select the right options right options whatever i have given here at the top you need to select it from these words so that's the worksheet you are going to do and soon after this one look at this resume so you need to fill this one yes so would you like to know about the answer key so before that what you need to do you need to type these answers there in the comment box thank you children thanks for listening to me patiently please do like share and subscribe bye bye